Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be giving you a farm tour, part one. We don't have all the equipment here, so we're just gonna be showing you some of it. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, I wanna show you around. So over here we got the 745FD, it's a 2020, but I, it's technically a 2021 because we've never used it before. Got it from Montana because <laughs> they had some new bean heads sitting there, so <laughs> yeah. Then come back over here, we got the, you got all the big stuff back here. So yeah, I think I'm going to go over to the excavator and the sprayer first. So yeah. And by the way, we are getting ready for harvest. So harvest is a coming. Slowly, but surely. I believe it's already harvest again. So, yep, I got the excavator here. It's got a thumb. It's a 290. It's a 2012. <laughs> yeah, we just got it this spring. So yeah, that's that. And here's the sprayer. This is a 2019. <sighs> we do most of the spraying with it, and we do most of the spraying with this. But we do have a pull behind track sprayer that we use for some some of it too. We only use it during like corn spraying most of the time though in my opinion. This is a 2028 RT. We, this is our second year using it because we used it last year and now we're using it this year. Okay, and then we got a Brent 1596. This is a 2019 also just never mind this is a 2019 and over here we got a 2021 John Deere S790 we actually just got it so if you want to see that video the name of the video is they're finally here and that's where I sh took a video of the excavator and combine got the S790 how about I just show you inside around up there oh it's kind of hard to climb this ladder. it's kind of hard to climb this ladder when you're holding the camera well, they don't fall down on the man it's hot in here yeah it's got a big grain tank it holds about like 650 700 bushel so yeah it's a big grain tank that's for sure I think I'm gonna do like three or four parts to this video. This is gonna be part one. I think maybe in the next part, I'm just gonna be telling you how old the buildings are, the history. So yeah. Got a PJ over there. I don't know how old that thing, thing is, but we've had it for a while. Got all the pickups lined up there. Yeah, some. Some of them are our, only that Chevy pickup right there is my dad's. That's Doug's, and that's Nick's. And that's also my dad's. And that Ranger is also my dad's. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a Jeep over there. That's my grandpa's. I don't know how good harvest is gonna go this year. I think we might be doing it uh, quite early this year with the way everything's looking. What do you want? Skinny? Yeah, he's kinda skinny. I'm gonna go over here. Do this. Shut here, yep. 
Here we got the backhoe. This is what we used to hold the excavator. Got a little boy trailer. Yeah, the excavators. Yeah, as you can see, when we put the excavator on, this thing got pulled back. Let me set the camera down. I gotta get this thing moved forward. Pretty heavy, but I got moved. I moved it a little bit forward. So, and this is what we use to haul out to our sprayers. We bought that trailer used. It was completely bare when we bought it. So yeah, we put all that stuff on there. I'm gonna show you the semi over here too. out this semi. It's got our logo on it. Maybe I should make some merch. <laughs> so yeah, my dad just set up this new pump system here, or whatever you call it. It runs into these things. That's where we mix all the chemical. And <laughs> this is a bunch of chemical. So yeah. Anyway, uh, this video is getting kind of long, so I better start wrapping it up. Well, I don't know how long, actually how long it is, because it doesn't say the time. It just says on my camera, WT, circle thing, recording. Let's open. Oh, the corn head is in here now. Okay, this is a 2019 718C in the corn head, and it's 18 row, cause, and it's 34 feet long. If you want to know where I got that from, it was right here. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we got a bunch of old stuff that we used back in the day. These are for spreading out nitrogen with the sprayer. We did that last year a little bit. Look at these. Oh, these are our fatties for the sprayer. Then we got this little thing. We don't really use it much. Okay, let's get out of here and let's move over to the augers and stuff. That shed is literally so old. It's full of rats too. I wish it told us what date this concrete was paved. There we go. Great, now it's too close to you. Okay, there we go. Let's head over to the stuff over here. Yeah, over there is a bunch of old stuff, like, and then we have some bobcat tools. Because that right there is an old cultivator or something. I don't know what we used it for. This is an old Chevy green truck. It's like a 1970, I think. We bought it back in like, in like 1985. Or maybe 1990. We bought it at my grandpa, picked it up at an auction. We actually just fixed it recently. I did a whole video about that about two, three months ago. I think, what was it that broke? I think something broke. Something. We had to completely put a new thing or something in. I don't know what it was though. Forgot. Transmission? Nah, don't think that was it. Yeah, we use this to rinse out the sprayer tank. And then over here we got a backco auger. That's what we use to unload all the grain bins. And these two augers are what we use to fill them up during harvest. 
This is the one we're using right now. This is just a spare. So this one's like a 2015 or a 2014. Oh, this one's a 2015. And this one's um 2020. So yeah. We've only used that one for one year. We stopped using this one in 2019. Because my dad bought that new one in 2020. I di also did a video about that Westfield auger when I first started my YouTube channel. Because we got it right around then. Well, I think that about wraps it up. Maybe. Well, I suppose we do have more stuff in the shop. Better go in there. Maybe I could save that for the next one. Yeah. I think I should save it for the next one. So, anyway, see you later.